Barrow here, and today I am in cold Alberta. Uh, in the middle of winter, it's about minus 25 out right now, so I'm just kind of getting my cold on, but I wanted to share with you an amazing wild food, and it may not look like it, but it is full on berry season here in the winter Northlands. What's that, berry season? Minus 25? What kind of berry are you talking about? Well, this is one of my very, very favorite berries that, I, that grows here in Alberta, and it's only good, well, it's only tasty, really, after the winter frost. Do you know this one? It's the silver buffalo berry. These are some of the most potent antioxidant foods that are out there. So this little berry not only has a really tasty, tasty flesh to it once it's frozen, it's sour earlier in the season, but once it's frozen, it's tasty, and it's really high in antioxidants, high in vitamin C, and it's got some really good saponin groups in it. Now they say don't eat too much because of the saponin groups, but on the flip side of that, the saponin groups that are in here are some of the most health beneficial for cardiovascular health, for dealing with cholesterol in the body, and for helping the body recognize and support the immune system. So we've got some antioxidants in this berry, we've got some winter immune vitality health, and it's just an all around delicious food. So I wanted to share it with you because it's one of those ones that I've eaten every time I come to Alberta. I come here every time around this, this time of year in February, really cold, and I always come out and snack on this berry. Silverleaf buffalo berry is easy to harvest, Pretty much you wanna wait till the frost and then the berries ripen up and they get a little bit more sweet. And then what I've been doing is I take a little fork like, fork like this and I can just knock the berries into my jar. And the thing that's so crazy about it is that it tastes so good. Traditionally this berry, you can pick it with your hands as well, but traditionally this berry was eaten as a food made into jams and jellies, but also prepped and used as a spice with buffalo curing to cure buffalo meat. So it was one of those ones that has some of those antioxidant qualities that protect the buffalo and the saponins help to kind of cure it and emulsify some of the fat so they don't go bad and give it that spice, hence the name buffalo berry. Now there are a couple other ones in this family. This is the Shepardia argenta, and argenta really just means silvery leaf. And then there's another one, Shepardia canadensis. And that one is a, same with the red berry. It's got a soap-like red berry to it. It's kind of saponin rich berry, but it's smaller amounts of clusters. And we find that more in the foothills. I've seen this plant though, all through the prairie land. So I know whenever I go visit Saskatoon, I find it there and I eat it there. And anytime you're in the winter months through this part of the world, you have a beautiful, delicious snack to chew on. So anyway, I just wanna take a few minutes to share with you the silverleaf buffalo berry because it is one of my all time favorite foods. I'm harvesting this little jar full to hopefully make a little batch of mead or maybe just snack on while I'm here in Alberta. Mm. Okay, that's all for now. Be well, my friends. See you next time.